morning folks, I'm surprised I'm so sprightly having to endure that outside my window from 5am on Sunday morning right through till gone 11pm. The electric was down on half of the street, ours was on all day, <laughs> friggin awesome, but yeah, not good when you want to get to bed. Today we're going to focus mainly on making lighting for the bar and what I'm actually going to be using is some reclaimed bases from the timber pallets that we took apart to frame the bar and also make the uh, the keg taps. So we're going to set about cleaning those up this morning. I'm looking on the CCTV and I'm expecting a delivery so I'm just going to go and receive that. He's <laughs> a bugger. He's not exactly Marvin like off the Casey Neistat vlogs, is he? <laughs> Ordered some stuff from Tool Station and Screwfix yesterday, and a lot of this stuff is for making these light fittings, as well as a sink for the back of the bar. So I'm going to unpack this and then I'll quickly run over the idea and technique I've got in my head behind making these into fantastic looking light fittings. Okay, so we have a collection of pallet wood. These are the bases of the pallets, as you can see, for where the fork truck's going to run under. And I thought it would look fantastic if on just each of these sections, one or two light bulbs were slotted through. So we've got some two core black 0.75 millimeter electrical cable to carry the lamp holders. We've got some six millimeter chain. 10 meters of the bad boy and then we've got these hooks that I think we'll put in the ceiling to hang it all from kind of like that if you get my drift and then of course we've got all the lamp holders which we will spray black and then what I'm going to do with all this timber is take some of that iron work that you saw me pick up from spiders allotment last week and we're going to attach it to the wood and make it look like all of this stuff is actually part of the light fitting make it look like a really old style uh, gate post or whatever so i'm going to set about taking the old nails out of this timber tidying it up maybe just giving it a quick blast with the sander to get more of the dirt off than the color then we're going to hit it up with a little bit of wood stain and start to assemble all of the pieces and uh, hopefully it will look tip freaking top when it's finished let's get on with it and so there came a point in our evolution when we didn't guide life by distrusting our instincts and had to think about it, and had to purposely arrange and discipline and push our lives around in accordance with foresight and words and systems of symbols, accountancy, calculation, and so on. And then we worry. Once you start thinking about things, you worry as to whether you've thought enough.
This is some of that iron work that we got from Spider's Place. Uh, just connected up onto basically an offcut of a pallet. I mean, you can't get cheaper than that, can you, quite frankly? I think once it's got some filament light bulbs in there, it's going to look the absolute dog's danglies with six, uh, four filament light bulbs just dangling down, shining as they do. And also these are somewhat adjustable, we can go up and down a little bit with the cables if we need to, or frankly just put some new ones on. So it's approaching 6 o'clock now, I'm starving, I've not really stopped to eat today, I've had two apples and I've literally just blitzed this whole situation. But everything now is ready to assemble, so we'll get the production line up and running in the morning and we'll stick together all of the five five, 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 and we'll put together the five other light fittings as quick as possible. Most of my time today actually was spent wiring up 25 light pendants. That took a little bit of time and of course spray painting them black from white. But yeah, they're quite effective, they look pretty good and I'm really chuffed with how this project's turned out. So we'll pick it up again tomorrow folks and uh, hopefully we will have a little bit more time to dive onto another project in the pub or maybe even get them hung in place. We'll see. We'll catch up with you then tomorrow. <laughs>